this is another revision of the Sunfire True Subwoofer from uh, Sunfire. Originally from Bob Carver and uh, Tilo Stompler of TC Sounds. This particular version of the frame has a smaller uh, bolt hole circle, uh, which is just barely bigger than uh, the three inch opening. And then it also is, a, it doesn't have a real big flange right here. It actually, this is the, the, um, the B, uh, what is it called? The B frame. So now this might've been a manufacturing uh, issue uh, that it just wasn't available or whatever. Uh, but the B frame uh, typically is made for two and a half inch uh, coils and like a seven and a quarter, seven and a half inch spider to sit on this lower landing. So, but because they wanted it to sit on the eight inch landing, they added a little spacer that just gives it a little more glue surface. And what I did was I just ground that flat and it's made of, uh, looks like paper. So it's better than nothing, but um, I had to trim up the, uh, our typical spider a little bit uh, on the uh, outer diameter. And then, uh, let me see where the coil. I'm using the concept uh, quad coil which is all copper, uh, quad one ohm. And then I wire all the coils in series for a four ohm load. And then each terminal, as I marked here, positive is on, ends up being on the right because of the way that the, the coils all wire. And so, um, uh, I, yeah, I already soldered and terminated to that side. So that'll be positive, which is these two leads. One of the problems on these, as you can see, they even still had, this looks like some sort of, uh, woven like speaker cloth grill that they glued to it so that the leads wouldn't short out there. Um, Tilo uh, at TC Sounds originally put capped on right here. So it's better just to not use, in this case, uh, a spider with the leads that are exposed on the bottom, which is like this. So there's no exposure on the bottom. Uh, plus they're gonna, they're, <laughs> Uh, two, of the, two of their leads was like one of these leads. So now we're basically using four of what they used uh, all for just one terminal for one positive and then one negative. So, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually spin this around like this, and then I'll end up running a jumper from here along here to the positive side. Boop. This is a little weak. I don't like that. I'll have to glue that. But um, what's funny is this is a super shitty terminal. I don't like it at all, but I, I changed it one time and uh, dudes got mad. <laughs> Uh, the home audio guys are not, they're, they're, they're the same as the PA guys. Anything different, uh, they, don't, they don't like and they get real weird about. And uh, so I don't fight them anymore. Um, I actually do wanna import um, a replacement model and then I'll go ahead and get the um, motor dimensions and compare it to the other revisions. The only addition that this one does is, for some reason they uh, decided to attach, um, I think a transformer inductor a transformer or an inductor to um, the back of the back plate. So I got to find out what that is. It's probably an M6. Uh, let's look at that part number. This was also made by um, Hi Hivi, H-I-V-I. And uh, it was like called their Z1000. And they made it in a couple of different uh, flavors. They made it in a 10 and a 12. And then I think that's when they stayed, they stayed away from the eight inch and especially the six and a half. Uh, those are kind of wastes of time because they just, you know, they don't play below 40 hertz. And so this is like a really super solid, like almost a 1500 watt motor, a dual one inch slugs, nice thick top plate, probably, you know, 13, 12 millimeter. Uh, and then they put a nice thick uh, T yoke on it. Not that you really have to have a real thick top plate and bottom plate, but it mostly helps with um, heat. Uh, and I'll get into that. There's a patent that uh, I want to create. All right. One, uh, an idea that I want to get patented that's going to help with uh, top plate um, uh, heat dissipation uh, because the, the T yoke actually has the, the pole and then the whole back T yoke. And then you've seen a lot of uh, companies add a heat sink to this to sort of augment the uh, heat dissipation and surface area that is already here, which is great. Um, but nobody's really done anything for the top plate except for maybe make it thicker, like you've seen on the concept and maybe like the TC sounds uh, 3 HP and things like that. So I want to change that. But um, anyways, I just want to keep you updated on some of the, the builds that I'm doing. Uh, and the reason why I show you videos on these and not some of the more complicated ones is just because these are slam dunks. Like I can, I can do these like in a day or a day and a half. 
um, work on it for 30 minutes and then go work on the bigger projects. It's the bigger projects that are more difficult and I cannot make any mistakes. You make a mistake on a big project um, and it, you're done because then you're set back a whole like another month or something like that. There's a screw under here. I'm not gonna touch it. It's threaded. There's one on the other side too. I don't know what it's for, but um, when we get the final version done, this is the um, uh, last good version was this one with the, uh, the bolt in the, the T yoke in the back plate. And so I'll build it with this uh, in mind, basically a, a replica of this. Um, other than that, I think that was it. Um, quad coil, the new uh, spider, and then, um, oh, and then I think I use, it's from Lord of Base. It's the, the old Sundown uh, E-Series, I think. It's either the SA or the, the SA version one or the E-Series version one. Um, it fits the 180 millimeter um, carbon fiber dust caps that, that I have, uh, really nice. And so I'll, I'll do a follow-up video on this one. Um, I'm just working on a bunch of projects and I just wanna kind of document them. Thanks for watching, love you, bye.